This is Gene Key, KTTT News. According to ConnectAmarillo.com, a Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad employee is dead after being hit by a train in North Amarillo. The accident happened around 11 Monday morning on the railroad tracks near the Ross Street overpass on South William Street and Southeast 3rd Avenue. The man was helping to move a train car needing repair when he was struck accidentally. He was pronounced dead at the scene. His name was not available. He is a white male in his 50s. MoreNews.com reports the Dumas City Commission has backpedaled on its beautification efforts for Dumas. The second and final reading to repeal the city's landscape ordinance was voted on during last Tuesday night's City Commission's meeting that took place in the Municipal Courtroom. City Commissioner David Bonner initiated the repeal. Bonner said the issue is we have water problems and then we're forcing people to landscape and use water. Following a vote of four in favor and one against, the repealing of the landscape ordinance was approved. Taylor Food Marts has been sold to Fikes Wholesale Incorporated. ConnectAmarillo.com reports all 63 retail stores are part of the sale. The Temple-based company now owns 257 convenience stores in seven states. In a release to the media, Happy State Bank ATMs will still remain in the buildings. Fikes Wholesale Incorporated are continuing to work on getting more details about what the acquisition means for the company and customers. Weather is often misunderstood by untrained observers. For those of us that live in Moore County, we can do something about that lack of education. The Moore County Emergency Management will be hosting a storm spotting class on February 2nd, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Amarillo College Dumas Campus. The class is free and open to the public. If you'd like the latest Dumas Panhandle and Texas News on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.